Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's puzzle, the Educa 5000 pieces. Um, the name of the puzzle is the greatest bookshop in the world. I had tremendous amounts of fun with this puzzle. It was quite easy for the amount of pieces. At the end of every day I made a small video with my progress. So I will talk to you about that during the course of the time lapse. I hope you enjoy it and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Educa 5000 Pieces Greatest Bookshop in the World by Gary Walton, the artist of this puzzle. I started out with only um, sorting out um, most obvious recognizable pieces. I didn't do a full sort here, yeah. I'm lazy like that. Immediately, yeah, I saw that the edge pieces are mostly. Um, the bricks and the pavement. So I yeah decided that I won't be doing the edge first as I usually do. So I left those on the sides. So um, end of day one, the blue below the window, the flags and the books, the yellow books in the window, the flowers, um, the pavement, the bricks, and that's the cream walls and that sign above the flags and for the first few days I didn't know where those go the blackboard sign the lady in the window and the pink books that's what I could complete on the first day and there on the left is the edge pieces so that's my progress for day one um, nothing is fully sorted so it's still crazy there's the eight species. My mom started uh, picking through them and sorting them out. I did some more sorting. I didn't take a video um, on the second day. So it's only the progress video at the end of the day. And I managed to um, put some of the bookstore banner there at the top together. And um, only spent I think like an hour or hour and a half on that day. It wasn't a long puzzle day for me, but yeah, I was happy with what I got completed. So day two, my progress, not much yet, but it's coming. Day three, I finished up what I could with that um, sign at the top, the banner sign. That came together very nicely. And I figured out where that um, liney, stripey pieces went. It's mostly below here. And the door, there's uh, two frames above the door that also has them. So I finally figured that out. Sorted some more. You, know, you will constantly see me sorting through the box. And then when I see something that's recognizable, I just take it out and put it in its bowl. So yeah, end of day three, there's the edge as it was left by my mom. More or less half the box sorted. The, I don't think they came much with together at that, um, with the lady and the, and the pink books. Those are as it were the previous days. But I did get some more in at that blackboard sign. And the flags, yeah, I managed to put in most of the flags. So that all banner pieces getting bigger end of day three nice progress there day four day three and four I only worked in the afternoons for a little bit day four I started with the flowers the thought here was to finish as much as I could above that sign, the banner sign, so that when I move up the puzzle to make space for the other below, that I don't have to reach over too far too much. So when I do have to reach over, it will only be for for single pieces that um I find during the day. So yeah, mostly flowers on day four. Oh, and as I put in the flowers, I um, 
was ma I also managed to put in the edge pieces for the top. So and because the flowers were in already, it was rather easy to put those in. Still a lot of pieces missing here, but I'm happy with the progress. Oh, I took this video the next morning after I started with the side edges. Yeah, so day five, I started side edges and I started filling in the bricks. There wasn't a lot of them, so it went quite well. Um, it was quite easy to distinguish where each piece go, or not each piece, on what side it goes. Um, on the left hand side, I don't think you can see it on the video or on the box, but there's a faint line going down at the very edge, and um, that helped a lot to distinguish whether the pieces go on the left or the right hand side. My mom put together the bottom edge there. One of the flowers bunches came in um, connected to that. We had a lot of false fits with the edges, especially with the bricks and the pavement. So once I started putting them in, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but I had to to rearrange the edge pieces to accommodate the other pieces as I put them in. Uh, the same with the with the pavement edge pieces at the very end there on the on the left hand side corner once we started putting in i had to rearrange because i couldn't get them to fit um with the with the extra pieces so i had some false fits there but it wasn't too bad and it was only in the edges mostly one or two in the inside of the puzzle. So there's my progress for, what is it now? Day five, four, I can't remember. The bicycles basket with that flowers, the right hand side bottom flowers, that one in the right middle. That um, blackboard sign came along nicely. So yeah, that was day five. Day six started off, yeah, sorting as I went. Um, before I was finished with the puzzle, I had everything out of the box and had an idea of where it went. Um, it was mostly dark pieces left, so... Day six, I started with the cream walls. Those were easy enough with the orange and blue flower patterns. Um, again, there was different shades of cream as the light hit the building. So it wasn't too difficult to determine whether it was left or right. Um, the middle pieces were a little bit more difficult because they were so narrow that there wasn't much to work on but yeah i um put those together so from here on out i started working from the sides inwards and um yeah i started with the easiest and as i went i just whatever looks easy enough the more i've got together the more i've got to work from I think after this, yeah, the blue transition line, I finished that because I needed more of the cream to work off of, so I think I did the transition line so that I can see if more of the cream pieces can fit in. There's another column of the cream I'm working on. That one is above the bicycle seat. Yeah, every now and again I get one of the pieces that, that I still miss at the top and I just put them in as I get them. Then I start with the blue and the bicycle. I think it was the easiest to, to get the bicycle wheels done. 
because it's so easy. You can see the spikes of the wheels. You can see the direction it lies, um, the tires. So everything there was easy enough. I enjoyed that. After that, I completed uh, the on, on the sides of the bike the blue. I finished that up mostly, or mostly behind the bike. This was day six. Um, I was on leave here. I had five days of leave. So this was one whole day of puzzling. I enjoyed it so much. I did get a lot done on that day. So there you will see. That little pieces they missing but I, I find them in due time blue the bike wheels mostly done yeah and there's still there's two two flower bunches that I struggled with it's the one on the middle of the left hand and the other one is the top right hand corner those were mostly green so I struggled a little bit more with them than with the colorful ones then, um, yeah, I finished up the blue. Went quite well. Enjoyed it so much. Then I started with the uh, books. Those were a joy to put together. All the detail, all the book covers. It was um, easy. It was a joy. I enjoyed that Part so much. I think that was the most enjoyable part for me for of the whole puzzle. And uh, there's a little step that I complete. Next, I will work on the window frames. Um, the yellow, the books in the inside was just too much. And okay, I did do the next day. It was the end of that day. I've completed most of the posters. I think. Or not posters. Why do I keep calling them posters? It's books. It's definitely books. Still some pieces I miss here and there. But sure, we can start see the the bigger picture. It's coming along nicely. Day seven, day eight. Yeah, I started with the window frames. Um, the yellow was just too much. I reckon that once the frames are in, I will have a lot more to work off from. And I am glad I did that because um, after the frames were in, it went so much easier with the yellows. Um, because this yellow touching on the frames, it was easier to recognize which yellow goes where. Um, it's only there on the right hand side corner where it turns brown, where it became a little bit more difficult. Yeah, difficult. So yeah, you'll see the, the yellow goes in quite well, easy enough. All that little blocks got filled up. All of this on day eight. Again, I was quite happy with the progress. This went faster than I expected initially. I thought I would work on this for at least two to three weeks. Judged by previous big puzzles I did. But yeah, this image was... A very good balance between enjoyment and difficult. I loved it so much. Day nine. Oh yeah, there I got that um, last two flower bunches together. Got the last of the yellow in. And the two missing pieces in the flower pot next to each other. For the longest time, I had those two pieces connected somewhere in one of that bowls, and I couldn't, I couldn't determine where they got. 
where do I have to go? And uh, you know, eventually I recognized, oh, it's the pot. The door has started with, and again, there's one piece there missing. And I for the longest time, I thought it was missing. And then I found it. Nine days worth of puzzling. Such a joy. Again, I will highly recommend this puzzle to anyone that wants to attempt a bigger puzzle. Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. And I'll see you in the next one.